What's going on everybody? Bones here with Cajun Our New Barbecue. Hope you're doing fine. <laughs> I'm having an interesting morning. Somebody on my busy highway decides to jump out their vehicle in my driveway and start walking next to the car while having an argument. And then the car decides to start peeling down the road making smoke with their tires. While having an argument with the person. And they have the argument all the way down to the major highway down the road. Fun times. Should have caught it on video. But I didn't have the camera set up just yet. Anyway. Today. We doing up. The other two packs of flavor boosters. People been seeing the other one that I've done. They're asking questions about these other two. Can you taste the flavor? What flavors do you taste? Are the other two a gimmick too? Today we find out. No sense is doing each one of these as standalone videos. We going to put these two to the test. Which flavors do you taste? The garlic, onion, and paprika? Or the basil, sage, or thyme. We're going to do them with some chicken breasts. We're going to hit them both up with this VSB seasoning house blend. Stick around. We're going to get right to it. Okay, we're going to start off with the garlic, onion, and paprika ones. I'm going to go ahead and light up these fire starters. Put down just a little bit of charcoal, but we're mainly going to fill this with those garlic, onion, and paprika. Briquettes. Just a reminder, this is what those briquettes look like. This is a two pound bag. They expect these two pound bags to fill up for a six pound of charcoal. That'll make up an eight pound bag of charcoal. As you can see, I'm putting way more flavor boosters on here than I will be putting regular charcoal. Heck, might as well just put the rest of the bag on there. I'm testing out. Since we know that the it's going to be a very faint smoke, might as well put them all on there, see how it's going to do. While charcoal is getting together, I'm going to go ahead and season this chicken up with some of this VSB seasoning. It's got salt, pepper, garlic, onions. I chose this seasoning because it's got no real major spice kick to it. It's just an all round, good, solid, all-purpose seasoning. Alright, we're going to go ahead and put it on the grill. People have reported that the smoke does smell a little different. And I do agree with them on this one here. It does smell a little different. But, uh, only faintly. You know, because, hell, I'm using two pounds worth. Let's go ahead and put this chicken on the grill. There we go. Yeah. 
Chicken's reading 61 degrees right now. We're going to be looking for a temp of 165 for the breast. All right, we've hit temp. Chicken looks nicely cooked, so we'll pull them off and get our grill ready and set for the next round. I've got some charcoals lit, ready and set to go. Gonna go ahead and put the basil, sage, and thyme on there. Again, dumping the whole bag on. I can smell a faint bit of the sage and thyme coming from the briquettes. I'm going to let them come up, let a couple of those start to uh, catch lit before I put the chicken on. All right, we're lit. I can smell a faint bit of it, but remember, I'm using the whole bag here. If you would be using just the recommended amount, which would be spreading this out between the entire, like, six, eight pounds of a bag, I don't think you'd smell a difference. So, just keep that in mind. We're sitting at 62 degrees. Our target temp is 165. Now it's taste test time. First up, we've got the garlic, onion, and paprika. Remember, we use the entire two pound bag to try to get the maximum amount of smoke that you're gonna get. We'll see what we've got. Eh. Smell a little something. Faint. Tastes a little bit of the paprika, a little bit more of the garlic, because I know that there's some garlic in that rub that we used. But again, it's very faint. Again, we use chicken because it's a nice, happy medium. You know, it's a nice, just a all around good protein to test out on. It's not a heavy one like beef to try to stand up against. Let's go ahead and try the uh, basil, sage, and thyme. Eh. Smell a little bit, not much. There's a little bit of a sweetness to it. Yeah, a little bit of a sweetness to the chicken. Faint, but there's a little bit of a sweetness to the chicken. I don't think these are worth spending your money on. Like, if it came as an entire bag of just 
the boosters themselves for you to cook the entire thing of like an eight pound bag for you to cook with then it'd be something to try but the cost of it would be astronomical I don't think these are a buy you know like they're expecting you to use a rub that's got a lot of other ingredients in there so you to go oh I can taste it I'm using a good all-purpose seasoning that generally doesn't have some of these other things in there so I can go ahead and taste these other seasonings and I don't taste really what's in these bags another thing these bags I got a bone to pick why didn't they make these resealable they expect you to use all this at one go then either they expected me to do what I just did or they expect you to go ahead and do an entire eight pound bag cook and use all two pounds of it at one go either they expect what I just said or they want you to get a Ziploc bag and store the rest so somebody at Kingsford wasn't thinking properly not a buy I say pass on these don't waste your money I've already wasted close to thirty dollars on all total on all three of these bags if you like what I'm doing y'all know what to do thank you and have a good day